All right, so John asked, I'm new to investing, where do I start? So John, the thing I'd be thinking about, as I mentioned last week, is being super clear before you start investing of what are your investment goals, what are your timeframes, and what is your risk tolerance? So if we understand those three things, then making the decision of where should we start investing becomes a little bit easier. It can still be a little bit daunting to make your first investment, but it's important just to understand those, those couple of things. Then once we know that, it's just about educating yourself. So understanding what different investments you have, whether you're talking about investing $2,000 or you're investing $200,000, that's going to obviously make a big difference about what your investment options are and what are the risks and how's it going to affect or how's it going to get you closer to those goals that you have. Now, I would suggest you do as much research as possible. So YouTube's great, obviously podcasts like this and there's a number of different free resources out there. And then if you do need additional assistance, you can reach out to a financial advisor or someone like myself to obviously assist with that if it's needed. But I would suggest you do your own homework first before reaching out to a professional. And if you're nervous about investing for the first time, you can always invest a small amount to begin with and gradually increase it up. So let's say you had $50,000 sitting there and you want to make an investment. It's quite daunting to think about investing that whole $50,000 in one go. So what you can potentially do, and it's what we do with our clients, is what's called dollar cost average, or we invest in regular amounts over a period of time. So it's not putting it all in at once. And then obviously there's a, there's a little bit of a shock factor that comes with, I had $50,000 in my bank account and now I've put the full $50,000 into the share market or into a property or something like that. So I would look at potentially doing something like that where it's just you look at doing small investments and that can kind of get you started. The other thing I'd think about is assuming you have been working for a period of time, you would have superannuation in some amount of superannuation. So whether you know it or not, you are it currently invested. So I always find it's a really good thing to do is look at your superannuation and find out where it's invested, how much you have invested, how it's been performing, because that's your money. You are, in fact, already have an investment account. It's just called your superannuation account. So by doing that, it starts to open your eyes up to see, okay, well, maybe you've got 50, 100,000 or $200,000 sitting in your superannuation account. You can start to see how investments work by looking at what your superannuation has done. So that always find that's a really good way to kind of get your get your foot in the door in terms of understanding a little bit more about investments. So that would be my suggestions. Hopefully that helps, John.